I've just had the hardest time trying to record this video. So, it is currently 9.40, January 9th. It's a Tuesday. Tomorrow morning we leave for Costa Rica. I'm very excited. Um, yeah, it's dark because I'm sitting in a parking garage. I try to turn my light on, but I see that that's not working very well, but you can see me enough. I feel like you can see me enough. So, cheers to my trip to Costa Rica for my 25th birthday. she's cute so that's the hair um, these are my fingernails this is a bad a bad like way to show it but I got my nails done and then I came home I had some snacks and then I took a nap and you guys have probably seen me like trying to start brainstorming some outfits um, I'm also doing what I normally do and just put pieces that I think that I'll want to wear there so there are a few outfits that I'm like trying to put together and then some outfits that are just like throwing in the bag and then some new outfits which I don't think I'm going to show you guys until I wear it in Costa Rica um you probably hear my washer and dryer going right now so hopefully it's not too loud but I did just quickly want to show you guys some of the skincare. Um, I don't think I'm going to open any of it until I get there. So maybe you guys will be able to try it out with me, but I at least wanted to show you what I got before it all goes in bags. Let's get into the skincare. It's been a long time coming. I've held off of buying myself new skincare all holiday season and I've been scraping the barrel of the skincare that I have left. So, I'm very happy about this. I did get my birthday gift from Sephora. So I got this youth to the people like travel kit thing. And then this is going to be the cleanser that I try. It's not a typical moisturizer that I go for. I got a serum from the same brand. Um, I got this kombucha facial treatment essence. It seems like when I shop for skincare, I kind of stick to one brand at a time. So it's like when I go and buy a new skincare line of things. It seems to be from the same brand. Last time I tried Clarins. Some of it I liked, some of it, mm, this time is fresh. This caught my attention because this is supposed to be like a step before serum and the step after a cleanser. So like who doesn't love an extra step? Um, it's supposed to protect and visibly repair boost luminosity um, and then it's just supposed to have some stuff that's good for your face and then the last thing is this night cream it's called the youth preserve dream face cream can y'all see that so yeah I've just got my little my little line of new things to try and I'm so excited um, I'm very excited for my birthday for this trip. I'm grateful to be going back. I'm just very excited. I'm very excited. It's almost time. It's almost time.
But yeah, we just got in the room and I'm so excited. We're in Costa Rica. The weather is so, so nice. It's hot. I think it's, I think they said it was like 80 degrees. I was honestly expecting it to be a little bit cooler. Um, I checked the weather and it said it was supposed to rain and all this good stuff, but when we got here, it was sunny, it was hot, like it was hot on the plane. Before we even touched the ground, I was almost sweating. So that's a good sign. This lighting looks so good. My hair looks so good. It definitely had to grow on me. It took a couple days before I was like, hmm, okay, it's okay. But to the side, I think is, is definitely the vibe. But I'm hungry, so we're gonna take a shower. That was dinner. We just that finished was, grabbing food. Yeah, food was it was really good. Stuff. The drink was really good. I didn't get to show you guys my outfit before I left, but I'm wearing a Zara top and cost bottoms. And I'm outside. And those Amazon uh, sandals that I bought for the two week trip, they're still doing your girl real good. Oh. same thing you saw me wear yesterday why because we came back to the room and we had plans to go back out he's gonna get boba we're gonna get drinks we're gonna get appetizers we wanted some oysters and that didn't happen we came and we just knocked out on the bed but now it's 8 20 and we're gonna go get breakfast today we move we change locations. We're gonna go to this really beautiful Airbnb that's like <clears throat> in the forest near a beach. And then yesterday before we came back to the hotel room, I just randomly made an appointment to try on wedding dresses. So we're also gonna do that today. I think it'll be exciting. So today is breakfast, um, wedding dress appointment. And then we've got like a three hour drive to this Airbnb. Are y'all, aren't y'all feeling the curls? The curls are so cute, like look at this bun. She is so cute. I like the curls y'all, I like the curls. Let's get into the skincare. Now I would not recommend anyone to do this really, unless you really know your skin, but you're really not supposed to try a whole bunch of new products all at once um especially if you have sensitive skin i do not have sensitive skin my skin is very strong i can put pretty much anything on it and she's gonna be okay so i feel pretty good about this but for everybody else i would suggest just trying one product out at a time So I am going to go in one more time with my cleanser and my cotton round. See this time it's lathering a little bit more than it was last time. Skincare is my jam. So first I'm going to go in with the kombucha facial treatment. This is supposed to be the step in between your cleanser and then like applying your serum and moisturizer. It's supposed to add a little bit more um, shine. And we love shiny, glowy skin. I was a little nervous because I felt like, oh no, it's actually going on really nicely. I was nervous that with the cotton round, it wouldn't go on nice, but it's actually applying very, very well. I really liked how that felt going on. 
And I'm happy that it still applied well with the cotton around my, in my hand. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Tea Elixir Skin Resilience Activating Serum. This one has a really distinct smell. It doesn't smell bad, but it has a smell and when you put it on, you can smell it. It mixed really nicely with the kombucha treatment. Normally, like if you mix something that doesn't go well together, like you can feel it, but it literally just laid so smoothly. It almost makes the kombucha treatment almost feel like a primer, like a primer for skincare, or at least that's what it's giving. Lastly, well, Second to lastly, I'm gonna go in with the Rose Deep Hydration Balancing Emulsion. This is what I was telling y'all that um, I normally don't go for like moisturizers like this. So you see, it's like not super thick, very like mucusy. Look at the glow. Ah, uh, I'm almost scared to put the sunscreen on because I don't want it to ruin this. But that is so nice. And everything that I put on my face, it feels like it really absorbed in my face. Babe, look. He swears I just be playing with skincare, y'all. He said it don't make a difference. But it does. Y'all see it. Y'all, look at that. It looks like I'm wearing highlighter. Look at that cheekbone. He don't know what he's talking about. Let me put let me put the, the sunscreen on and then skincare is done. It feels hydrated enough. It's a nice little glow. I also sometimes use the spritz for a little extra oomph in my glowy skin. But I think this did, this did her job. She did her job. All right guys, I'm all ready. Here's the outfit. Um, Zara top, Zara bottoms, Zara shoes. Tell far bag, um, regular jewelry, just some stud earrings, my engagement ring, and then this ring from Missouri. And that's what we're looking like. He was supposed to be wearing all tan. You see he changed his outfit and I was trying to match and then he didn't want to match no more. Bye. So Bye y'all. just wrapped up wedding dress shopping. I definitely was just like window shopping and I knew that and I don't think anybody else knew that. Um, I do have plans to go somewhere else and do wedding dress shopping and have all my family there. Cause I FaceTimed everybody and everybody just wanted to be there and I wanted everybody to be there. Cause originally babe was there with me, but then it was like, you can't see the dress, so you gotta go. So we left. And then I was by myself and I like that. So I did try on a really, 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 really pretty dress. Um, but I don't think she was the one. And I think it'll just be more um, impactful when my people are with me, you know? So that was really fun though. Absolutely enjoyed the experience definitely made the whole like wedding planning bride to be thing very very real and i just it made me very excited for when i get to do it and find the dress and take her home so yeah that was cute breakfast so good 10 out of 10. um i think i showed you guys already the place was really nice and the food was really good the service was amazing 
So the, the morning is just going very well. We are about to check out of our hotel and get ready to head to the Airbnb. not even a little bit we got to the airbnb last night and just had to take it in we ordered some food we got some food delivered and i watched a movie i say i because someone else fell asleep i only slept four hours last night and i didn't sleep in the car right over so i watched a movie i did my skincare I tried the night cream, it smelled so good, but that's a different story for a different day. But yeah, this is the most incredible place I've ever been, ever. I think I'm still like taking it in. So obviously I'm gonna show you guys where we're at. Now, it's lived in, cause we stayed here last night. So no shade, no shade, I need no shade. It's not that bad, but obviously the bed's not made and I'm not gonna make it. And we just got our stuff everywhere, but it's fun. It's still beautiful. All right, so as you enter, you come right here into the kitchen. We got a dishwasher, all like the utensils, the plates, pots, cups, literally more than I was expecting. There's even a little spot for you to cook. And then we've got the fridge. And then, as you continue walking in, can you look at this? You cannot tell me this is not the most gorgeous place ever. The bed on the inside, there's a desk over here, but then there's a bed on the outside. And then some seating. And then look at this view. <gasps> uh. We literally just woke up and just sat and just stared at this because how could you not? This is so beautiful. I'm like mesmerized all over again just looking at it. And then just look at all the greenery, the trees, the plants, the flowers. And then just listen to the freaking sounds of nature, dude. And then look at these over here. Ugh. <sighs> and that takes us to, I think this is called like a plunge pool, maybe? I'm not really sure, but that's super cute. And then you come back inside. This is the desk area. Obviously all of our stuff is over here. I really like this chair. That's a really nice chair. And then back here, we've got the bathroom. Again, just don't mind it. All of our toiletries and stuff are out. We definitely have been using this off, definitely. The bugs aren't too bad, but we've been using it. And then back here, we've got the shower. With all these beautiful plants. All these open. Every window that you think you see is a door. And it opens. Is that not incredible? I can take a shower with the door open. All these beautiful plants. And then, look at this closet. This is better than some people's closets in their houses. And you get this really nice closet in an Airbnb. Like, ah. And then, back here is just the potty oh wow now i see what he was talking about with the ants just the potty and we've got a ton of friends over here 
but this place is amazing. So, 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 so beautiful. This closes, you can completely just like wrap it around the bed if you want to. I think that's super cool. And it gives you like a little, I'm about to do it now because I didn't do it before, but like what? Maybe like a, maybe it's supposed to be like protection from the bugs. But what? We could sleep like this with the doors open. This is the most incredible place. There's wait. We got a speaker, a bow speaker, we got candles. They did their big one here. They did their big one. Just look at that view. Oh my gosh. As you can see, I wasn't lying. This is the most stunning place ever. Ever in life. Ever. And I don't know if I'm gonna leave. I might stay here and just be ducked off for the rest of my life. Seems like that's what you're planning. Seems like that's what I'm planning. You, you need some friends. Who, I'm friends? Yeah, so you can call him and tell him all your stuff. Every me. time I turn on the camera, all of a sudden he get on his professional voice. Now he just a freaking <sighs> news anchor. I would have, I would call my friends, but someone broke my phone last night. It wasn't you. It was someone though. Oh, let's, let's, let's backtrack. Let's see what people think. We start walking up a mountain. We start going up a mountain. We find a spot. It's not the place that we're supposed to be at. Come to find out after speaking with this dude for like 30 minutes at the front desk that uh, <laughs> we're in the wrong place and the place that we're looking for is a little further up the mountain. This is just literally took like half an hour, 45 minutes. But in the midst of doing all of that, trying to figure out where we are, where they were lost, people acting a little bit weird. Um, you fill in, fill in the blanks. But people acting a little bit weird. And I look around, who, who, who can I not find? She's first taking photos for y'all probably or videos for y'all probably. And then come around, I'm like, yo, where's, where's, this, where's this short person at? I, there's a short person wearing something light, light, white or beige, and where's she at? She's gone. All these people are walking around, and she's just not it here It is anymore. not that many people. She got lost. We saw she one got, couple. I thought she got abducted. And you know she's small. She was like five foot zero. I thought somebody picked her ass up and put it in their purse or something, or put it in their backpack. Drove off with her. Her mother gonna be mad at me, her brother's gonna be mad at me, father's gonna be mad at me. I gotta be responsible for this short person. So in other words, she's a target. And she's just lost. I can find her for a good five, ten minutes. I'm, I'm saying her name. No one's responding. Where's she at? Up on a hill taking pictures someplace because she got mesmerized by the views. The point is, she got lost. She's annoying. She's a terrorist. She fell asleep in the car ride over. She wasn't active. For one hour. In that journey. One of the three hours. She wasn't active hours. in that journey. When we got here, she broke my phone. And uh, I think that's about it. She's been decent otherwise. But those was two things. Disappearing. I can't believe he gonna get on camera and lie like that. Food. Uh, I may go talk to the concierge. Uh, I may go just bother me while I'm trying to figure out my stuff. Whatever. Step. You had Joe's story time. So everything was fine until after the car ride. So we get to the wrong place mm -hmm. and I don't know what he was doing. They told him they, that he could use the Wi-Fi and he just got his phone and he just started doing stuff. And then I was standing there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> just doing stuff, trying to figure out where we are in the middle of the jungle, just doing stuff, just doing stuff. Just solving problems, just doing stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, where are you gonna sleep tonight? Or where are we at? I'm things. figuring out all these things. This is how women travel like children, men travel like, you know, like they're mercenaries. We gotta be protected, <laughs> we gotta protect, we gotta make sure that we provide I feel like, I feel like you got a lot of bravado. Do you understand how mad your family's gonna be at me? If you get lost in Costa Rica and okay, nobody finds you? You said you was gonna be next to me today. Please let quick. me finish my story. Finish your story. Anyway, he was getting on his phone, doing whatever he was doing. And so I was standing there for a second and then I started looking around a little bit. And then I saw a little peak of the ocean. I was like, oh, that's so nice. Let me, let me take a picture. Let me get a little video. And then I looked back and he's still on his phone. I'm like, I don't know what he's doing. So I walked over. And I said, what are you trying to do? He looked up from his phone and he glared at me. He glared at me. And I was like. She's very much bourbon right now. Bourbon, bourbon what this is. What? Put it together. Bourbon what this is? What is this? A hat? Bourbon. What's another word for a cat? Cat. Bourbon. Capping. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at that. You said we just all learned something? Okay, I learned. He's going to stop treating me bad. Look at you breaking stuff. That was my hat falling. 
I'll be back. Finish your story. <laughs> so he looked up and he glared at me. And I was like, oh. So he got an attitude. I didn't even do nothing. I was like, you know what? That glare to me means he needs some space. So I went on my little adventure. I said, I'm going to just keep taking my pictures and my videos. And every couple steps I took, I saw something more pretty and more pretty and more pretty. So I just mind my business. I was like, we in the wrong place, but it's beautiful. So I'm gonna take pictures of it. And then hopefully he figured whatever he trying to figure out. You know what's crazy? And then we go. She took that glare so wrong. The glare was, hey, make sure you stay close. We're in a different country. We're in a different country of the country. You know what I mean? We're in the country, literally of a country. We don't know where we are. We know no one here. No one knows our names. We don't, we, we didn't have Wi-Fi this whole entire time up. Stay close. And we made it. Stranger danger. No, it's like day one ch children stuff. I'm teaching adults. Maybe it's just a man thing. Yeah, you, I can't, I can't float through space like a fairy. I gotta be real, on guard, ready for danger. Anything can happen. Anybody can just change their mind and wanna, wanna look at us like food. And I'm never gonna be on somebody's plate. So I'm trying to save us from getting plated. Wait, no. If, I, if you lose me, no one's gonna be like, I think people are gonna be like, what was he doing? If I lose you, everybody's gonna be like, I can't believe you lost her. Oh no. Who's coming to save me? No one's coming to rescue me. Ain't nobody gonna helicopter down and come save my butt. If you, if you get lost, we gotta call the CIA, we gotta call the National Guard, we gotta call all the people looking for people. Nobody's calling the ABC to me. Why not? Nobody's calling the ABC voice to me. Why not? Yo, you Can don't somebody have look at the last time a black man was saved out, out of the country? I don't even tell the rest of the story because I don't like his attitude. Who's my fault? And my fault? I can't take two days of terrorism, so I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm a terrorist. <laughs>